Ooh, what's going on guys? This is Nate from the Scrub Academy. Coming new to our next deck profile here on the channel. Today we've got Jaden with his punk deck that he's featured this week. Let's go ahead and jump right on into it. Alright, so we're gonna start off with the package. We got three punk Zeon and uh, pretty much the starter, pay 600 life points, which is gonna be standard on all the things. Uh, search any punk monster that you need. Uh, we're going with two deer notes. Uh, you don't want to play three. It's very cloggy. Uh, two is just right because there are a lot of times, especially with cash going around, uh, banishing them. You, it's your revival in grave, whether it's sent for synchro material or even just sent from the grave, from the field in general. Uh, so you do need two for those. Uh, we're gonna do three ogre dance again. This is a searcher uh, Is three standard for that? Y yeah, like some people go on too, but uh, it kind of just depends on How big of an engine size you want? Uh, I want to have as much one card start as I can So most of the time if I have this and I don't have Zayaman, this is searching Zayaman Or okay. if I already have Zayaman or something to get to it. I'm going to something else. Gotcha. Okay uh, Three foxy tune as well uh, this could be the same argument as far as with the Ogre Dance. Uh, you could do two, but I think if you would do two on one, you would do three on the other, or mm -hmm. vice versa. Um, so that's it for the standard package that most people play. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go into the small off engine now. Right now, I'm just doing one of each of one the of gold each? rides. Um, this one, I've been trying it back and forth as far as different ratios to make it a punk gold pride deck, uh, but I kind of just felt like these were kind of better as more extenders rather than anything. Um, each one, they have a standard effect. If I have less life points than my opponent, I can activate their effect and special summon from the deck. Or er, special summon from my hand. Uh, this one, when it's special summoned that way, I can target a gold pride that's in the grave, special summon it. But I can only go into gold pride extra deck monsters if I do that effect. But the special summoning of itself from the hand doesn't lock me out. Uh, this one can be good against cash because on the opponent's standby phase, it does special summon out a token to any part on their field. And on the main phase, I can destroy it and then pop respective areas in a T-shape oh, okay. based on where that token is. Uh, normally, Captain Carry would search out uh, the Gold Pride Trap, which it's, it is a very good trap, um, but I just wanted to kind of focus more on the Punk Engine, so I decided to take it out, but it's just a free level 3. Um, other side engine, we're doing three Cashier Fenner. It's just the better uh, Dino Wrestler Pink Tops. Uh, I was having this at two before, but uh, you'll see something that goes on my extra deck, and it just it seems so much better opening it in my hand. So and just it's free, so might as well. Um, going on to the other parts of Punk, um, the three one ofs. Uh, this one is uh, pay six to search for trap, pay six to search for spell, uh, pay six to fuse. They all have secondary effects too, but they don't come up a lot. Uh, this one, you can make your opponent's attack uh, become halved if you activate a punk effect, things like that. Wagon is if it's targeted by a card effect, or if someone targets it for an attack. Quick effect, you can draw a card. And then Shirakuse on your opponent's turn, uh, you can pay another 6 and you can Synchro on your opponent's turn. Um, these two effects come up more than Madam Spider does, because uh, if they do, like let's say they do an Imperm on Wagon, uh, you can chain Wagon's effect to draw. Give or take you won't search the spell that you're needing, but you'll at least get a draw. And then this one ends up being a play with the extra deck that you go into for your turn 1 setup. Um, hand traps, we just got the one ghost over because it is searchable, three ash blossom, and we do have the three imperms as well as far as hand trap wise. Um, the three ash and three imperm have kind of just been standard in the meta now. Um, they're just, they're very good, very good against cash. Uh, imperm still gets around talents and sometimes people just don't pay attention to the zone lock, so you can get that sometimes. That has happened to me. I have not paid attention to activated something and fell for it. There you go, there you go. Um, obviously 3 e Telly. this is just way too good. Glad that it's at 3. Uh, going into your Zayaman, uh, it ends up being... If you have e Telly, then it's a one-card starter. 
but if you have Zayaman, it's a 1.5 because you have to have a discard. So having this as a one card starter is just amazing on there. Much easier that way than having to deal with having to have a discard. Mm -hmm. Paying cost, we don't like that. Um, two extreme session. This is the searcher off a of wagon. Uh, this is pretty much just pot of greed. Um, you end up getting to every time you pay cost, uh, pay life point cost to activate a second monster's effect. You get to draw a card up to twice, and then per card, not just like once per name, you can banish a punk. And I just realized this today: a punk card from your graveyard to special on a punk from your hand. I used to think it was just punk monster, but. I found out today, you know, if you have the trap engrave, um, you can special summon. It's always good to read your own cards, right? It, it definitely does help. Uh, you know, a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh players do not read, including your own cards, and you can end up learning a lot from them. A um, couple new things that I've been adding. I've been trying in the two Pot of Desires. Um, it's one of the things where it can either be a bait as far as to bait out Ash, because there's a lot of combos where Ash can just be an ender right then and there. Or it can be after you've done all your combos, you can activate this and just get more resources, get more hand traps, things like that. Uh, so I've been I've been having you know good times with it. I haven't really had problems where I managed all my stuff that I needed. So have you done Pot of Desires and then drawn into the second Pot of Desires yet? I don't want to talk about that. All right. Yes. yes. <laughs> Um, and then checking in to cross out Dez. Uh, thinking about adding a call by too. Not really sure. Um, but this has saved me quite a couple times as far as again the standard. Everyone's playing Ash. Everyone's playing Imperm. Uh, so it definitely helps as well as the bane of my existence. The three evenly matched. Um, I hate this card. Need to play it. Um, I hate it, but I gotta play it. I hate it, but you gotta play it. Um, until this gets hit, most main decks are going to be having this now. Um, it's just, uh, you can play through a lot of stuff, but if you don't have to, you would like to go through that. Like, that's just, that's just on there. Um, and then cross out target as well, because it sucks having to go through it. I was going to say, you've ha you have the Ash, Imperm, Evenly, and Ogre as, mm. as some good cross out target deck. And then last trap is just the, uh, searchable imperm by one of the uh, um, punk monsters. Uh, this one, it just, it's an imperm, uh, not counting the column lock, but also if you have a punk monster, then the monster that you negated, you gain life points based on that attack. So it can be handy sometimes. Sometimes it can be uh, vice versa compared to the fact that you want to go as low as life points as you want. Mm -hmm. There's that. All right, let's jump into that extra deck. So then we got, let's just go for the main. Uh, we'll do one Rising Carp. That's going to be the fusion you go into with Shirakusai. Helps with main combo. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do two Jam Dragon Drive. Mm -hmm. uh, again, this is also part of the main combo. Uh, this one is your searcher for Ghost Ogre, or it can be a searcher for any of your low level punks. And while it's in the grave. Is it just any psychic? Is that how that is? It's a level three psychic okay. monster. So that's why it lets that uh, ghost over too. Um, while it's in the grave, if you uh, if your punk monster on field gets interrupted, like chained to or anything, uh, you can special summon this from the grave. And if it's special summoned by punk effect or special summon itself, then you can get that search again. So it coming back from the grave by its own effect will count as special summon from a punk monster. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and then the synchro up from it goes into Amazing Dragon. This one, uh, pretty much the Shirakusai, you can synchro on your opponent's turn. This one, when it's summoned, you can choose to bounce cards on your opponent's side of the field up to the number of level three psychics that you have in your grave. Um, or it has the effect, you can target a punk monster in your graveyard, special summon it, but you can only do one or the other. Usually what it'll be is you'll bounce all your stuff on your opponent's turn, and then on your turn, you'll special summon out the Jam Dragon Drive, which will trigger its effect, and then you start going on there. Um, we end up having the Baron de Fleur. That's the uh, Kashtir uh, Fenrir and just any of the level threes, even if it's Ghost Ogre, you can go into this. Um, I wanted to also play a Changing too, but uh, I couldn't find mine in time. Uh, but the Changing mints for the Pot of Desires, which just works really well. Uh, so that one... What would you end up taking out of the extra deck if you wanted to put the Changing in? Um, 
probably the thing that I'm not really going to right now. I still have this in there, but it's it was when I was playing the Therion version, so don't worry about this one. Uh, as far as just getting out of the way, I just kept this in today just for if I need to go into Zeus, because it was the only exceed. Um, but I never had need, never needed to go into it or got the opportunity. Um, as far as for the one gold pride, I'm just doing the Star Leon. Uh, this is a generic six, so you could just do... Um, the carry and then any of the other threes and make this. Uh, if I have less life points on my opponent, I can target a monster, uh, monster my opponent controls. It gains the attack as well as I can destroy that monster. And at the end phase, this will shuffle back into the extra deck and I'll special summon out a regular Leon, either from the grave or from the deck. And then Leon will trigger special summoning the carry and Leon has the effect that it can synchro on your opponent's turn. Therefore, you can go into Leon again and just keep recycling it. All right. Um, the big bond sponsor will have Psychic and Punisher. I'm thinking about bumping this up to two. Uh, it's just really good. Uh, but it also sucks being Kaijued. Sucks being um, with evenly. This is the only thing you get stuck with. Things like that. Or if for some reason they just find a way to get off of it, I would like to get a second one. And then last one, just going for the links. Just IP and access. Uh, this is mostly I just needed for uh, Scareclaw because this is kind of the only out that I've been finding so far. Um, and that goes from there. All right, well, let's go ahead. Let's take a look, take a look at that side deck real quick. Real, right. real quick. All right. I know um, that it kind of depends on what kind of event you're playing it, but let's take a look at it real quick. As far as here, it's just small things, just harpies for the Feather Duster, uh, Change of Heart, and then Hey True Need. Uh, these are just kind of uh, thrust targets just because I don't want back row. Again, same thing with the evenly matched. I just, I want to go through as the least amount of negations as possible. Um, got two Ghost Mourner. Uh, again, this is kind of the same thing as far as with the Imperm. Uh, this on Cash Terra, like let's say you do it on Unicorn and everything like that, it, for the most part, can kind of stop their plays, or at least do a little bit of extra damage, so it's good on there. Um, playing the two Bell. Uh, this is for Branded. Uh, Expulsion is a bad card. Gimmick Puppet is a bad card. Shouldn't be playing it. Um, so we kind of need these uh, as well as, I think uh, you can do this as far as with tier two, and tier seems to be coming back as well. Um, two Troll. Again, that's this one's just coming back real good too. Drytron, uh, I played a hero deck today, as well as this can um, mess with the tiers as well, because the reason that they're being so consistent is because they have so many searchers. Um, and then I would play more, but I couldn't find more of this rarity. Uh, solemn judgment. Um, I probably up it to either two or three. Would you take out? Um, I would probably end up taking out the Hey Trunade and uh, potentially the Ghost Mourners and just kind of like work around the ratios, maybe another droll. Uh, just because these are nice. The hey Trunade's all right, but the fact that this one's set cards, it's meh. Um, and this combined with uh, Punisher is just really good because I want to be as low as life points as possible. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of on there. All right. Well, thank you so much, Jaden, for bringing us your punk deck. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell on the way at the door because all your support is greatly appreciated. Make sure to stay tuned. Later on this week, we'll have some live duels with this deck in action so you can see it before you want to build it yourselves. But that's all I've got for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, this is Nate from the Script Academy, setting up for now. Peace out.